Hey guys, welcome back. The Lotus Biscoff and Peanut Butter are my favorite spreads and I just can't get enough of them. So why not put them together to make that ultimate treat? This ice cream has all my favorites and only needs five ingredients to get that ultimate treat. So let's get cooking. Now normally when you make an ice cream, the base is made out of a milk, cream and eggs. You make it like a custard and then you add any flavoring which you like. Now for an Indian ice cream, which is equivalent to the kulfi, which is basically reduced milk. So you start with a liter of milk and you really boil it down to almost a, a quarter liter left. And then that is again flavored with various flavors and then frozen and it's an egg free ice cream. Now this is a very simple one I'm going to show you now. It's a cross between the two. It is totally egg free and you don't need to cook the milk or the cream or reduce it down. So you know you're saving all the time. And the trick is actually by using condensed milk and some cream. So I've got some single cream or cooking cream. You don't want a full fat or a very heavy cream for this dish. Otherwise it becomes very heavy to eat as an ice cream. So all the single cream goes in. To bind the cream, I am also going to add into this some peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter really helps. Uh, peanut butter anyway has a very high fat content uh, because the, the peanut is quite fatty on its own. So it really gives a very nice uh, flavor to the ice cream, but also gives a very nice uh, kind of a thickness or a texture to the ice cream. What I'm also going to add is three fourth of a tin of condensed milk. Slightly mix this together. Then all I will do now is going to whisk this up to form a paste. Now, if you don't have peanut butter, you can always use any flavored butter or you can also use Nutella, even that would work. There we are done. All I have done here is I have whipped together the peanut butter, cream and the condensed milk just to ensure that the whole thing is mixed together and the cream slightly thickens up. You don't want it to get too thick otherwise it becomes too hard uh, to scoop it out. So the mixture is for the ice cream is ready. Now if you actually make a normal ice cream mixture or a kulfi mixture this will take you a very long time. Reduce the milk down all the way, cook it through, keep stirring it then cool it down, add the flavoring, and then put them into the freezer. But this way, with just cream, and with peanut butter, and with condensed milk, you solve all that hassle. The next thing to go in this is going to be biscuit crumbs. Now I'm using Lotus Biscoff. So I've taken Lotus Biscoff or the Lotus biscuits, and I've crushed it very coarsely. They are very nice, got a very nice mold or a caramel flavor, but they also hold the crispiness when you put them into the cream and when you bite into them you get a very nice texture also when you put it inside the cream mixture it slightly thickens it so i'm going to put half of it now and the rest i'm going to use to layer the ice cream i'm going to fold it inside so it just spreads all across so the mixture of the ice cream it's now ready. So it's time to now layer up the ice cream for the freezer. Now I've taken a plastic container to put my ice cream in. So there we go. I'm going to put one third of the mixture first. Then I'm going to spoon in some Biscoff paste. So this is basically the same biscuit, but you get them into a puree form. Now, if you don't have the Biscoff paste, you can also use a caramel sauce, or you can use Nutella. You can thin it down with some water, make it into a thin flowing consistency. And this gives a very nice kind of a ripple effect or a marbling effect inside the ice cream. So when you have the ice cream, you get the nice layers of the caramel. And also when you eat them, they taste quite nice. So a generous quantity is to be spread across. More. Oh. 
and I have a little skewer here or you can use a toothpick and all you do is just go around to make swirls of the caramel this helps the caramel to actually set or mix up with the ice cream then goes on the second layer go to spoon or sprinkle some of the biscuit crumbs some caramel again or the biscoff paste lightly mix that together and the balance of the ice cream mixture. Perfect. And to finish it off on top, generous sprinkle of the biscuit. Of that and again lastly spoon the biscoff paste on top so now when you're going to eat the ice cream and you scoop it out all these wonderful flavors are all going to come together so we'll keep some of the garnish so this mixture is now ready I'll do a very quick recap. So basically it's cream, it's condensed milk and it's peanut butter whipped together and then you add in some biscuit crumbs to it. Layer it three times and it's now all set to go in the freezer for a good six to eight hours. The ice cream is nice and set. Oh, it smells so nice. I can smell the uh, lotus biscuit crumbs. So the ice cream is now set. Uh, the milk mixture has solidified, become nice and hard. The sauce has also become firm and the crumbs on top. So when you're going to scoop it out, all these flavors are then going to come into the ice cream. to will give it a very nice mouthfeel. Uh, that's done. So time to plate it. I'm using a glass bowl, a whiskey tumbler. We can use a normal bowl, ceramic bowl, glass bowl, whatever you like to serve your food in. And just scoop up the ice cream. Oh, the smell is so nice of the biscuit crumbs. It's a really firm ice cream is because there is no egg in it. It is just milk solids. If you want, you can actually leave your ice cream outside for a few minutes, four or five minutes for it to soften. But I quite like to serve it nice and firm because by the time I give it to my family and friends or guests who come home, by the time it goes to the table, it just begins to get soft. And also when it's firm, you can scoop it out quite well. I want some extra sauce on the next one. So we'll take it from the top. There you see. And see all the ice cream as you scoop it out has that ripple effect of the biscuits in them, of the sauce inside. Could you be generous and give one more? Now, although I have used lotus biscuits here, but nothing stopping you from using a malt biscuit, a digestive biscuit anything which you like you want to use oreos you can use oreo even that works extremely well there you have it so the ice creams are all scooped out and finally as a garnish i'm going to put in a piece of lotus biscuit 
So that is my very simple egg-free Lotus Biscoff ice cream. Oops, you're not going anywhere. Make sure you try it at home, make it for your friends and family, and do not forget to tag me. So until next time, happy cooking.